Tell us about France. This is a French street. Look who the French be. <laughs> back in France. Um, we're meeting with Toby's family out here for his sister's 30th. Um, and yeah, it's just been a really good time so far. When we first got in, we like just walked around a little bit in like the old town, walked up to the Basilica. The Basilica was stunning. It was really, really beautiful. I think every time that I like go into churches, that are that ornate, I really feel the like emphasis of like, oh yeah, this is why Christianity and Catholicism was so huge. Imagine being someone of that era. The only time that you see art is immaculate art and it's like in those spaces and you hear song and music and it's almost always religious. And the way that you meet with people is through religion. It all makes sense to me that like, yeah, of course everybody was like so religious and the religion like took such like a huge part of community then because like, look at those places. How could you not at that time, especially 
Anyways, I've just like woken up, clearly. <laughs> We're gonna go downstairs and grab a croissant and stuff. And then, yeah, just head out for the day. Looks like the sun's out, so I'm really looking forward to what today is gonna bring. Looking a lot better now. About to head out. It's gonna be a really good day. Saturday. We got a bit of rain yesterday, which was unfortunate, but it was really, really nice today. So we went to the Fine Arts Museum, which had like gorgeous pieces of art in it. It's been so, so nice. So yeah, just gonna continue on with that for the rest of the night. It is our last full day here. So yeah, tomorrow we go back to London. I feel like whenever I'm in cities like this, I really wish that I spoke French. I have it in my head that there will be one day that I do speak French and I like feel like I just know it'll happen. I think it's like coming here and last time when I was like in Paris with my mom, I really, really had like the itching of, oh, I should, I should start learning to speak French. I've switched to a little spot under the tree, um, taking a little sit down, but yeah, I like fully believe that there will be one day in the like very near future that I will speak French. And I think especially after moving to London and having so many French friends at the moment, like it feels like, oh my gosh, I have places to practice because I have people who speak French in my life at the moment. This is the time. And though like this is not like the exact time because I'm learning Italian right now, I think that it's the thought of the only place people speak French is in France. You don't go to France that much is no longer as much of like a thought because I'm like, oh, well, I have a whole ton of French friends now. And I have a lot of friends, even from back home, that do speak French, they would practice with me. If I like was at a level that was like valid, they absolutely would practice with me. So yeah, I'm like rethinking that like thought process. And I'm definitely gonna look into learning French relatively soon. I'm still really dedicated to the Italian thing. I really want to be good at Italian and be able to speak Italian because luckily one of my best friends also speaks Italian. So I'd be able to like talk with her and like have little chit chats. And I just, oh, I love languages. I really love learning languages. I think knowing languages to me is like such a special part of my existence that I absolutely love because communication is something I cherish so much. And I just love chit chatting and talking with people and learning new cultures and exploring like new places so along with that comes knowing the language of those places because culture incorporates language so heavily <laughs> anyways these are just some thoughts that i was having as to like ooh, i should learn french soon and then ooh, i need to get back on my italian a bit heavier so i think that i'm coming back to london with a newfound motivation to get on top of my Italian classes and look into French once Italian starts like easing up a bit. Have that like on the 
on the back burner of like, okay, you'll do this at one point. You don't need to think about it too much now, but like, it's back there. It's gonna happen. Hopefully you'll be along the ride and you will see that happen. Once again, fingers crossed, knock on wood, all the things. So yeah. But anyways, Lyon has been beautiful. I wish I spoke French here, but as of right now, I don't. It's been really, really nice and like has really surprised me as a city. It's just really stunning and like, yeah, has been great. So for now, I'm gonna get going. I'm gonna go and try to find that Christmas ornament and yeah, just go and explore and mooch around and like see all the cute shops and stuff around here. I can't wait. I'm really looking forward to it. I also feel like I'm so into what I'm doing with my makeup right now and the jewelry. I think I look so good. I love it. Very much keeping on with my thoughts from Copenhagen where I'm like, ooh, she's cute. And I'm actively gonna tell myself that every time. <laughs> travel outfit but yeah we're gonna drop off our luggage at some luggage drop off spot and then go still like walk around and stuff our flights at 7 p.m so we still have a lot of time but it's gonna be really nice to just have one last chilled day for the most part oh i feel almost out of breath i feel like i've eaten so much on this trip i think I'm excited to go back. I'm bittersweet for sure because, oh, it's been such a lovely trip, but I think it'll be really nice to eat a bit healthy for a little while, get back to my routines, do some more music again, work out. So there's a lot that I'm looking forward to, but very bittersweet as this has been such an awesome trip. It's just been so lovely to have this like super special and like fun time. I feel really relaxed, very full. <laughs> Anyways, au revoir Lyon. <laughs>